said on Monday that it was kind of hard to get a feel for what NC State wants to do offensively just because the quarterback situation and everything else. Yeah. You think the guys have a – you as the coaching staff and the guys have a clearer idea now that there's been a few more days? Or is well, it I mean, a mystery? It, it's still a mystery because, you, you know, you don't know. I mean, they all four do something different. You don't know exactly who's going to play and, and or how healthy all of them are, so you don't know the, the, all the details. Uh, if you guys would go over and watch practice and let me know, I'd, I'd help. But, uh, uh, no, I mean, so we, we put a game plan in and, and we're preparing. And, and uh, you know, the, the main thing is that we understand the game plan. And then we, you know, we're able to uh, execute the game plan. What do you like about Mitchell as a quarterback? I mean, granted, you've only seen him for five quarters this year. but Yeah, I mean, I you know, watched him uh, early on, uh, you know, in that first game. And, and you know, he looked like he had uh, a very comfortable uh, – you know, he looked comfortable back there, I'd say. I mean, he, he when he ran the ball, he ran the ball well. He threw the ball well. I mean, he had control of the offense, and uh, it was unfortunate, you know, for him to what happened. You said the rivalries are kind of what makes this college football fun. How do you balance? Obviously, you want guys to be excited to play, but then keep it focused. And not... Well, you have to, you know, we want guys to, to – uh, be emotional and, and have fun with it, but also they can't let their emotions control them. You know, they have to be able to make decisions under duress. They got to be able to make decisions, uh, you know, in, in the in the line of fire. They've got to be able to to do what's expected of them, do their job, and they have to do all that. Uh, at the same time, have fun, be excited. I mean, it, it you know, it's that's what again, you know, that, that's why you play the game. You play the game for for games like these. I mean, you you. Uh, you know, it should get you excited, but you still got to be able to think, concentrate, and do everything. And that's why, that's why you have to put your mind in that same. I mean, you have to. You, you got to put yourself in that same frame of mind when you're practicing. You can't just go out on Saturday and turn it on and see if it happens. You got to do it in practice on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and put yourself in that situation mentally. I mean, because we can't uh, we can't replicate a, a, a game to like atmosphere in practice. So you got to do it in your own mind. Their receivers are pretty young. I mean, Richard Smith's the guy that's been around, but Valdez, Scantling, and um, Cherry in particular. What do you think of their receivers? What stands out? So, I, I mean, I kind of the way I look at Bug and Switzer. I mean, they're you you see them at the beginning of the season, and you see them now, and they're and they're 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 better than they were at the beginning, and that's what you expect from a young you know young players. And so I, I think they're uh, you know they're well coached. They they run good routes. They're playing hard. I mean, so I think they're giving them what they what they're asking for. Them. They're just young, just kind of like our guys are. First start, first sack. How, how do you feel like you did last game? I feel like I did pretty well. You know, um, it was definitely a big change for me because I only throughout the year I've only played probably 20, 25 snaps, and then everybody's going down, so they just threw me in there. You know, and I'm ready like all year. Just. Uh, the only thing that's kept me like from not playing a lot is uh, learning the plays a little bit because of how complex our uh, playbook is here. But, you know, I got down and uh, I, I was real confident going into the game. And um, once I got that sack, you know, it just, it just felt really good. Do you remember what happened to the sack? I mean, kind of walk me through it if you remember. Um, I know there, I think they had a tight end lined up on me. He blocked down. I, or he might have been going out for a route, and their left tackle was supposed to pass at me. And I don't know what he was doing, but he didn't he didn't really get a good kick stand, you know, like what offensive lineman usually does. And uh, once I saw that, you know, I just kind of like swimmed him, went around, and got the quarterback. I mean, coming into UNC, did you think you'd be playing this much as a true freshman? Honestly, no, because, I mean, I was probably going to be four-string uh, – come into training camp, but, you know, with all these people going down and with uh, um, with our players, you know, just having, like, a risk of injury, you know, because they got injured before. You just never know what was going to happen. They were telling me that all throughout training camp and stuff. So, um, yeah, I made the most of it and got my first start and did pretty well, I feel like. Looking forward to NC State. What have you guys seen out of their offense? Um, we've seen that they try to spread the ball out a lot, um, try to get guys out of you know position so they can make plays. Uh, they don't really have a quarterback right now, so they're kind of you know switching guys and running different guys in different formations and trying to confuse the defense. Is that kind of tough, not really knowing what to expect, maybe from one quarterback to another? Uh, it's not really tough at all. Uh, as long as we get the call and as long as we run it effectively, I feel like we'll do fine. Do you know anybody in particular on the NC State sideline? Uh, I actually know a couple guys. Uh, A.J. Ferguson, um, he played at South Brunswick. Um, also, 
uh, Farrell McKeever. He's a freshman this year. Um, he actually went there, he signed there, and he told me where he was going to go to. I mean, but that's not going to change the difference between us. We're always going to be friends. So. You going to reach out a little trash talk this week between those guys? No, uh, no trash talking. Um, we know that it's a big time rivalry. You know, we're expecting great things for them. They're expecting great things for us. So it's going to be on Saturday.